What's going on, YouTube family? This your boy, T-Love. Like, comment, subscribe. And you know if you comment, I'm going to get back to you because we family. And that's just what we do. So check this out. Boston Rich, man. We lucky. You lucky, yo. Listen. All you celebrities, man. When y'all have an event, a concert, whatever, right? Don't trust their security when it come to letting motherfuckers in all. When that door open, you better have one of your security people with their security checking motherfuckers thoroughly. And you watching them, check motherfuckers. You helping them, check motherfuckers. You don't trust another motherfucker's security with your life? The fuck is going on, man? That's why these motherfuckers is dying at these concerts and shit. These artists, man, what the fuck? Why the fuck is you trusting another person's security with your life, nigga? You know how easy it is to pay security at an event? You know how much motherfucking security at an event get paid? Not enough to fucking protect your life, motherfucker. Hell no. And this is the motherfuckers you got at the door. You trusting to pat everybody fucking down that come in that hoe. Is you stupid? And you on stage in front of everybody and mom and their mama in Jesus. And you don't trust these niggas to pat everybody down. But somebody got a pole in that hoe. No, man. I'm trusting my security. Yeah. yeah. Hey, man. Before I get there, I'm going to have my security team, a, a part of my security team that already show up to the event. That, that, that sweep the event, right? Then, after we know the event is clean, the inside is clean, yeah, we start vetting everything that come in that hole. Even the employees. Fuck is you talking about, man? And you motherfuckers out here with all this money moving like a nigga won't dome your ass, okay? All right. Keep moving stupid. Like... Who the fuck is who the fuck are y'all hiring, man? Who the fuck are y'all hiring as y'all security firm or for security team? Because motherfuckers should know better. Why the fuck am I trusting another man? Okay, it's my job to protect this man's life. Okay. The first moment I leave it to another man to secure the premises, right? I don't drop the ball right there. Because these security companies don't be paying, man, these motherfuckers be making like 17 maybe at the most $28 an hour maybe. Man, five grand, a pole in the building. Fuck is you talking about? <laughs> five grand, a nigga looking another way. Stop it, man. Y'all niggas better start acting like motherfuckers won't kill you. Man, stop acting like that, man. Stop acting like it. Because it's just, you see it. Want to come before destruction, man. Now, within the next eight months, we probably going to hear about a motherfucking rapper or something dying in a, in a concert again. Like Drake Hill, the ruler. But see, nobody learning, man. Nobody learning shit. That's how a motherfucker got a weapon in the motherfucking concert. The security was paid. Come on, man. Come on, yo. You, you got to remember, when you beefing... You, you don't beat, you ain't beefing with broke niggas. You beefing with niggas that got bread just like you. These niggas ain't beefing with broke niggas. They beefing with rappers that got just as much money as they do. It, don't, it ain't nothing to put 10000 in a motherfucking security guard hand. Hey, man, turn your head while my nigga sneak this pole in. Fuck, man, come on, stop it. It don't cost much, man. Come on, man. You trusting a motherfucker with your life that get paid $17 an hour? Motherfuckers at Chick-fil-A make that. And I ain't saying nothing wrong with them. I'm just saying. They are providing a service of food, giving you food. This service is supposed to protect your motherfucking life from motherfuckers doming you, killing you, robbing you, stupid shit happening to you, yo. No, nigga, that ain't enough bread. So guess what? 
Before I pull up, I'm going to already have a team there. Swept the building, building clean. Now they pat motherfuckers down. They wander motherfuckers. Everybody getting wanded. Even the employees, purses, everything getting motherfucking wanded. When you in this motherfucker, this is the cleanest motherfucking building on the whole block. Why? The only thing dangerous in this hole might be a fork. Straight up. Because we don't wander everybody in that hole down. We done swept the whole building, all of that. Yeah, that's the type of security you motherfuckers need to start hiring. Motherfuckers that use their brain, that's militant, that move right. Ain't no use of hiring security if they don't use their head and they don't know how to plan out scenarios and shit. Man, if you... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If your security team just show up when you get there, that means they ain't even got to lay out a building. How they know where the exit's at? All of that. What the fuck? Man, hell no. <laughs> hell no. Mm-mm. You see? Having your homie protect me. They don't know nothing about that. They don't know nothing about just making sure all the exits is good. Making sure there's one way getting in that bitch. Motherfuckers ain't sneaking through the back door. Like, come on, man. You trust the nay security and you pulling up with your partners. All of y'all fish in a barrel, man. All y'all fish in a barrel. I want it, man. Seven, man. Seven point six twos in, in, in a room. Woo, man. Shit. Okay. Keep playing with this shit. I'm telling you, this shit getting more dangerous. Boosie even saying it. This the most dangerous profession in the world. Rap is, and you motherfuckers moving around this bitch like y'all work at Disneyland as a mascot or some shit. Ooh, hey kids. I, yeah, all right. All right, motherfucker. All right. Y'all motherfuckers, man. Look. Listen, man. My wife will tell you. I go in a building. I know where the exit's at. I'm peeping. I'm peeping niggas. I'm peeping bitches. I'm peeping motherfuckers in their purses. Motherfuckers in their pocket. Look, my wife would tell you, when she with me, she'd be like, man, I ain't worried about shit. That nigga Sierra, man, I be on it. My wife tell my wife, man, I ain't worried about nothing when I'm standing next to this nigga. This nigga, yeah. Shit, if anything I'm worried about, I'm, I got to calm this nigga down. Like, yeah, man, she, yeah. So he won't be on go. But my wife already know. If some shit pop off, she already know when she around me, man. Shit, it's going to, man. Look. Yeah, that man, motherfucker, you need motherfuckers, like, I'm my white bodyguard, shit, I don't want you to bump her, I don't want you to touch her, I don't want you to do none of that shit, yup, I'm my white bodyguard, and I move like it, I was proud of my baby today, we pulled up somewhere, man, before I even said something, I'm reaching down to get my strap, she already got her strap out, I'm like, see, yeah, I just told her I love you. That's all I said. She's like, why? I was like, man, you amazing. Because she is, for real. I know. I already know she got me. She, this motherfucker, yeah. This motherfucker right here, she going to blow. <laughs> no questions asked. She going to blow. Straight up. You fuck up. Look. Man, y'all motherfuckers better get one. Y'all better find one and get one. And when y'all do find one, marry her ass on my mama and your mama, nigga. You better, y'all better, y'all better settle down. A chick better get out. Yeah. Let me tell you something. I'm telling them motherfuckers, I marry my shooter. I marry my bodyguard, nigga. You fuck with me, man. Shit. I, hey, do, do you, yo? That's all. I, all I'm saying is, <clears throat> y'all niggas need to start moving right, man. Y'all life on the line. I understand it's y'all profession. Perfect. That's cool. Okay, but if it's y'all profession, move, move accordingly, man. Plot shit out. Have more than three ways that you're going to get to and from an event. That way a motherfucker can't lay on you and sit up an ambush. Have motherfuckers already at the event. Like I said, clear that bitch. Have motherfuckers on the roof. One that, yeah, I ain't shit out just to see if motherfuckers pulling up a block, just cars circling blocks and shit. Motherfuckers need to start having all this shit and be moving in bulletproof vehicles. Yeah. Start acting like you motherfuckers 
Love your lives, motherfucker. Because if you don't, you're going to lose it. You're going to lose it. My favorite artist, Mo3. As hood and gangsta as he was, man. Little bro shit ass security with him. Yeah. Yeah, you put you pressure. You pressure in the streets. That's perfectly fine. You can be pressure in the streets, man. Leave security home when you sliding. But when you out doing your thing, I'm moving with security. I'm still moving right. That don't make me not stepping. No, that just mean, nigga, you gonna have to play it real smart to get me, but I'm still gonna get you. That don't make me no hoe because I'm moving with security. No, that just make me smart. I know, listen, man, start respecting the beef. Period. Let's start respecting, let's start respecting niggas in beef that's real murder beasts, man. Let's start respecting motherfuckers. Stop saying, man, that nigga a hoe. Because you know damn well if that nigga see you, you dead. Just like he know, man, that nigga see me, I'm dead. Probably cut from the same cloth. You niggas probably be best friends if y'all sat down and fucking talked. Y'all like the same hoes. Y'all like the same weed. Drink the same syrup. Fuck, fuck to the same music. Y'all, y'all passing around bitches left and right. So apparently y'all got the same taste in women. All of that. Y'all could be best friends if y'all stop beefing. Once again, man, we seeing more and more situations where these motherfuckers is slipping on a security, man. I'm telling you. Well, I mean. How could that happen after what happened to Drake Yo the Ruler? Niggas don't learn from other people's mistakes. You move it too fast to even sit back and learn from another motherfucking mistakes. No, you gotta bump your fucking head to learn. Nope, not me. Mm mm. Mm mm. Motherfucker, I see a motherfucker, like I said, I see a motherfucker, they arms stuck in a motherfucking crocodile mouth. I know. No, nigga. Nope, I like my limbs. Fuck you mean. And that's a limb. So, of course, I love my life. Matter of fact, situation like this. It ain't as big as that situation, but I had a situation the other day. My wife had a little situation. I took her somewhere. So, I ain't smoking ahead of time. So, I was going to smoke. I pull up somewhere. Get out my pack. I already had the blunt roll. You know what I mean? So, I'm about to get out the, get out, get out the whip. I see white people walk by. Not racist, no disrespect, but I see white people walk by. Okay, I stop. I wait for a little bit. Seeing a couple more white people jog by. Then another dude walk by with his dog. And now, 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 listen. I'm legit, hundred percent. Guns. Oh, I'm legit. But why have the headache? Why sit here, light up this blunt? Where all these people walking by, right? Exercising, right? Where they could call the police on me. Now, I'm getting patted down, searched. When I can just say, nah, that ain't smart. Which I did. I said, nah, that ain't smart. I'm going to move around. And I moved around. Yeah. That's about... Learning from other niggas' mistakes. I done seen motherfuckers smoke in the wrong neighborhood. The people see him. They get nervous. They call the police. He get patted down search. Now they searching him. And now he don't got gun charges, weed charges, all that shit. Because he wasn't smart enough to say, nah, that ain't smart. That's, that, ain't, that, ain't, that ain't bright. That's dangerous. Yeah. Because any time a cop is involved with you and you was a black man, it's a dangerous situation. You could lose your life. So I'm avoiding it. Yeah. I ain't scared. No. Fearful. And fearful keep you alive, motherfucker. Understanding, man, something could happen to me if I do this. Or if I don't think through a situation. You see how I stop? Thought through the situation is like, that ain't smart. Sure, I can say, oh, man, fuck it. I'm man enough, man. Shit, ain't nobody gonna stop me from doing shit. I could have popped out, pole and all. Lit up the blunt, smoked in front of all of them, got, then what? Got the police called, got arrested. Sure, 
I could have got out there, smoked, and nothing could have happened. But why even take the risk with my life? You see what I mean? So guess what I did? <laughs> Pulled off. Went somewhere else where I know I could be comfortable. Went to my mom's crib and smoked. Like, 15 minutes longer. A 15 minute longer drive saved me probably a day, a couple of hours of aggravation, getting locked up, arrested, car towed, guns taken, all that shit, charged, fighting. It. Nope. That 15 minute drive, yep, I'm taking that hoe. Start thinking through situations, man, before you put your life on the line. When the only thing you had to do was stop for a little bit, think the situation through, then make your fucking move. Now, once you thought it through, then go with your best move, motherfucker. That's all I got to say. Shit. Because sometimes I think shit through and I be like. But a lot of times you got to think things through multiple scenarios, multiple times. I think things through multiple times, especially when I'm on go. Now I actually, I'm like. Yeah. Like today. Something happened today, and I had to, I got in the car, and I had to let, I had to remember, yeah, it's my fucking medication I'm taking right now, motherfucker, I'm on go right now. I had to remember it. For real. Straight up, because I don't, and like my, like my wife and my, my, my daughter call it the murder man come out. For real. I don't call it that. My wife and my daughter call it the murder man. Straight up, man. Be ready to. You know? But like I said, that's growth. That's God. It's growing with me, man. Working on me. Nigga be on go. I gotta remember, man. A lot of times, nigga don't even know what they be dealing with. And they could be having a fucked up day, so I excuse a lot of shit, man. Real, but. Look, yo. Y'all niggas need to start moving safer. Start using your head in situations. And you won't be ducking down getting popped at. No, man, that shit had never occurred, yo. For real, family. That shit never occurred. Y'all be safe out here, man. Remember. And respect the environment. And if you want to burn beef, respect the fucking beef. Alright? Sometimes beef is unavoidable. Let's just be real and say that. Even as godly people, we need to admit and say that. Sometimes beef is unavoidable. That's why in the Bible it says, man, it's a time for everything. Even killing. So. Look. Man, we family. Stay safe. Stay dangerous. I'm saying, motherfucker. Since we Fisher, man, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. Keep that hoe. Keep that hoe. And keep it in a holster.